The Tynet community of Casey is doing whatever they can to help bring six-year-old Faith Sweatlake home. Some businesses here in the area are hanging up signs to help with the search effort. But I had to do something. Rachel Hames is the owner of Barco Lounger off Platte Springs Road. I felt obligated because she's so selfless in what she did for me and my family. Last year, Hames Greyhound escaped from her backyard after someone broke into her back gate. I didn't know Faye's grandmother at all, and she showed up the next morning after I had posted it on Facebook, um, ready to search. And she came by every day for almost two weeks, um, selflessly. You know, I never asked her to do any of this. The six-year-old even came with her grandmother one day because she wanted to help. Seemed genuinely concerned about the dog because she has dogs at her home and she loves them dearly. Since that I had this personal connection with Faye's grandmother, I have this connection with her that will never be broken and um, I will keep doing what I'm doing to hope I can get her baby back to her. While Hames and the rest of the community are not able to help with the ground search, she's making flyers and spreading the word to help keep people more aware. There's only so much I can do, but I can't not do anything. I, I, it actually kept me up last night because I try to put myself in her shoes. There's a clock running, you know, and it's ticking away, and the longer it goes, um, the more urgent it becomes. Businesses in Casey and surrounding communities are coming together and hope someone will find this little girl. There's definitely a sense of community and they've been amazing. It's impressive. I drive around locally. I'm seeing photos of her everywhere, which is what we need. Haynes continues to be hopeful Faye will return home to her family soon. I hope that she had just wandered off somewhere into the woods, maybe lost her way, and maybe she's just curled up and sleeping and, you know, maybe she'll, they'll find her. She's a little dehydrated and a little hungry, but safe. Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX.